to hear from you. Joining me to talk about this, Miss USA 2002, Shantae Hinton's with us. Also joining us, Ann Chertoff, contributing editor for ParentDish.com. Shantae, I'll start with you again, I think. A little too far here. Your thoughts. Mike, I think these photos, there's nothing wrong with these photos at all. They're calling them racy, but what I see is women who are super comfortable in their own skin and a brilliant marketing and branding ploy on behalf of the Miss Universe organization. It's got everybody talking. It Everybody's going to want to so tune in. Publicity grab then at, at its heart to get these photos out what? there? Draw people well, in? No. Well, it, it, it does yes. draw people in. I mean, look, <laughs> at the end of the day, this is not Miss America. Miss USA has always been a much sexier pageant. This is just the updated version of the 1950s pinup girl. Oh, and that's how the Miss USA oh. got started in the first place. Okay, let, let, me, <laughs> let me read an email here. This is from Tom in the Cayman Islands, and I'll throw this to Ann. Uh, Tom writes, I think they're great if pole dancing is going to be the talent portion of the pageant from now on. Ann, you with me? You think they've gone a little too far? I, I think... I. I think it's a publicity stunt, and I think that they did a great job with that, and they want people talking about it, and it's really gone viral. I've seen the pictures on a number of sites, and if that's what they wanted to do, they accomplished it. But I think that the other side of that is that if you're going to say that you're role models and that the, um, this is the way of the world now and this is how it is, then that you just have to call it what it is. But I think that it's important to realize that there are little girls that are looking, that want to look yeah, up to these women. That's and I don't know that I would want my daughter, you know, doing a lingerie shoot. Yeah, that, that, let's get uh, Miss USA 2002 back in, Shantae Hinton. Shantae, what about that? There, we've had a couple well, of people make that point about little girls, role models. Does the pageant even care? At the end of the day, Mike, this is about choice. If you don't like what the pageant is doing now, you don't have to watch. And these women who are in the pageant had a choice. They could have cho chosen to do the photos or not. That's how the Miss USA pageant got started in the first place. And let me just bank on a point that she made about young kids you know, seeing this on TV mm -hmm. and on the internet, how is this any different from Dancing with the Stars? I mean, Dancing with the Stars has those little skimpy outfits and they're doing all these <laughs> racy moves. And I mean, come on. I mean, it's, it's, it's no different. And then the, the Victoria's Secret comment, I mean, that's the standard of beauty nowadays. Like okay. I said, this ain't Miss Wh America. Why isn't the, bi the bikini enough, Shantae? I mean, why do we have to go into lingerie land here? Well, look, the Miss Universe organization, and as you know, Donald Trump, they are marketing geniuses. I mean, this is going to get people to, to, to tune in even more. Like, wow, these girls are sizzling hot. Let me see what they're going to look like. And then at the end of the day, that's not what the entire Miss USA pageant is about. It's not about the sexy fo photos or the swimsuit. I mean, this gets people, atten gets people attention so that, well, you know, they can tune into a lot of the other humanitarian it, work that Miss USA does with breast and ovarian cancer. Okay, let's get Ann in on this one. And <laughs> one other thing I'm concerned about is just the objectification of women. Again, the poses just are, they're over the edge, I think. And I mentioned them, the heels and the garters and the poses on the bed. Your, your thoughts, we got to run here. Well, I, I agree about the Dancing with the Stars, because I think those um, costumes are a little bit uh, too much yeah, also that's a for, different for, little, argument. for little kids. <laughs> but I think just in and general, that's that's the audience is... <laughs> uh, true. But I think the audience here is you're aiming for men to watch it. I mean, the gentleman that just called in and the people, you know, on Facebook and some people I've seen online also talking about it is that, oh, it's sexy. I don't see what's wrong with that. You know what? Put, a, put your mother or your daughter in that position. I mean, yes, the girls had mm. a choice. And that's great, but I think it's really just a matter of saying what it is. They're desperate for ratings. They want people to talk about this, and that's fine, but yep. call it what it is. It's a matter of women just, you know, taking responsibility for themselves and helping other women. And if you want to talk about humanitarian stuff, then talk about humanitarian stuff, unless you're talking about, like, the need for clothes around the world All for right. women that can't Guys, we got to run. But and you got to get people watching. you got to get people, watching. You gotta yeah. get people well, watching. And publicity stunt, it's sells. working. Guys, thanks again. It